we are and we're back <laughs> right. that's my radio that's my radio boy you're like a strip club dj yep. <laughs> all right <laughs> what's your name brother suck zach yep what's your name paul Oh, yeah, like P O Paul. P A U L Paul. We're from London, Paul. so P O Paul. P A U L Paul. 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 Our accent. Our accent. You can't tell. Suck Paul. Suck. Yeah. Suck Paul. Suck and Paul. Suck. Suck and Paul. Suck and Paul. How's it going, guys? Good. 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 How you doing? He's an asshole. What do you mean? He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Gentlemen. What do you? How do you guys? How did you guys get here? Why are you at the Olympia? What? How long have you been bodybuilding? Give me the. Give me the story. Uh, bodybuilding, not at all really. Just training in the gym. Yeah, uh, we came from London, so okay. ten-hour flight to get here. Wow. Uh, watched a bit of pre-judging this morning. What do you think? Uh, Sean. Sean looks like he's got it. Yeah. Come on, he was close. Who was second? Come on. Yeah. And Angel looks like he's third. I love Angel's. Awesome. Angel's what about great. what about Ole? How did he look? Um, you don't know who Ole? No. No, we do, but he wasn't. Oh really. no. Dean, what about Dean? Dean's like eight, eight nine. nine. That's good for Dean. Yeah, because yeah. he's, he's yeah. smaller than the other guys. He, I think Ben was saying earlier that he lacked a bit of hardness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He looked yeah. a little bit flat as well. What about... Uh, Keon. Keon, I was going to ask. Fourth, fifth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Patrick seemed really excited. At first. At you first. want to bring that mic in a little bit closer Sorry. to you. Yeah, no worries. Patrick seemed excited yeah, he that did. he was going to win. He, I think he felt that, at least top three. Well, his shape is incredible, but oh, yeah. and you can't, you know, so is Sean's, and yeah. Sean brings the conditioning to go with it. Right. Yeah, just, he looked ridiculous. Build, fully build. Uh, so you guys came from the UK, and yeah. you're just fans. Who's Who did you come specifically to see? Just the entire show? Yeah, but Samson. 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 And awesome. James. James, James, UK lot. Yeah. Support your boys from the UK. Yeah. yeah. I, I came, originally came to the Olympia back in 2009 when Jay reclaimed the oh, title. Wow. And. Um, it's been that long. I wanted to come back because I knew this year was it's a good year. A stellar a good year. lineup. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a big Ian fan, and Samson fan, and nothing. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what Ian really comes up with this you year. You think Ian's going to crack top five? It's tight. I mean, when we we was at the press conference yesterday, and, and they bought twelve of them out, and then you thought it's not as easy as saying it as day. No. You yeah. Know? No. But yesterday he said it when they put him on the spot. He yeah. said, "Yeah, I'll be first call up." He did, eh? Yeah. Funny thing that's was, but, but but first call could be like seven. So that's right. That's be, right. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Funny thing for that was that um, Andrew Jack called you. Called you I out. heard that. Well, he was yeah. like, what? Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah he <laughs> said um, they're talking he shit. He said people were talking shit. Ian and his friend Fuad looking for you in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> but I think Does it was um, Andrew. No, I retired three years ago. <laughs> clearly not. <laughs> clearly not. I, clearly I, not. I don't think he watched it because he said, yeah, they ripped me off uh, Texas, then they wrote me off for of Arnold. And we're thinking, no, they no, said we didn't. So I think it's what he's heard rather than... Yeah. And we I all think, said he was going to win yeah. both shows. You just yeah. said you hadn't seen him, which was true. Now, the truth is that the criticism came because he was being compared to the best in the world. Yeah. 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 If you're going to compare somebody to Mr. Olympia, then I'm going to criticize you as being compared to number one. Until you see anything different. As far as the shows he was doing, we both had, we all had him picked to win. Yeah. yeah. We just didn't think if you're comparing him to Rami, Brandon, Hadi... There's a little bit left to be worked yeah, on. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. So that was, but apparently somebody else is telling him something else. Yeah. Or which maybe, is usually the case. Or maybe it? maybe yeah. even he heard that and that still wasn't fair to him. But I don't really care. Mm. Like this is my job is to break down physiques, and if if somebody doesn't like it, it's not. I think he's using it for motivation more than anything. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, yeah. Listen, I feel flattered that my little podcast is <laughs> in his mind and he's yeah. talking about it in the middle of a press conference. Yeah. Funny so. thing was. He looked the biggest out of everyone. I heard. Oh, I, yeah, I believe that. I think he's going to be a shocker. I uh, yeah. Tonight, I yeah. think he's going to be. Personally, I I had him like listed at ninth or tenth, but yeah. I have a feeling he's going to be in the top five. It could be. Yeah. yeah. He looked bigger than Rami. Wow. Why? Yeah, Rami. I don't. I don't think he'll beat Rami. I don't. Yeah. I don't think he'll beat Hardy or Brandon. I do think. He could sneak but in. But you, you know, even on your podcast, you've yeah. said multiple times that he's never really nailed his conditioning. Well, and that's what I think is going to hold and him that, back. Yeah. Because if you think about it, my the main crux of the problem for me is if you're going to bring somebody down and condition from the back, yeah. is he going to lose some of the fullness and pop from the front? Yep. Yeah. Because if he starts to lose some of that fullness and pop from the front because they're trying to get him extra shredded. That's right. Yeah. Now he's just a tall, skinny guy. Yeah. 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 Right. So. If they can manage to bring in the conditioning from the back while keeping him full and hard, yeah. then he's going to be in the top five for sure. Yeah, because Ian called him out yesterday. Yeah. He, was, he was pushing him. He, he said, told yeah, me. 
Take, he, take your top off now, I'll give you an analysis. Ian texts like, oh, no, me. I don't, I don't need to. I don't Ian, need text to. Me, Ian texts me afterwards. He's like, Andrew's talking shit. I said, whatever, That's I don't give a fuck. I was surprised because Blessing was there as well. And, yeah. You know, he's just all about the hype. Blessing's isn't? great, though. Blessing, yeah, you know what's the, the thing is, whatever Blessing says, you can tell he's just having fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He doesn't really like take it to heart or take it personally. So, did you hear about um, Rafa being in the crowd and being no. called up? What happened? So, what happened was, so Bob obviously it seemed staged, obviously. Yeah. So Bob called up uh, Rafa. Rafa came up. He had two bags in his hand, and he went gave it. He had one to Nick, gave one to Hunter. Yeah. And there was two towels in there. Face towels. Wipe yeah. away your tears. He goes, this is for you to you. wipe away your tears tomorrow. Uh, he goes, I'm yeah. coming to take your spot. Yeah, because he was so, sitting in the crowd in a suit. He wasn't even like... Yeah, he wasn't originally suit. there, so... And they called him up. Uh, so, yeah, they're just trying to build... Well, of course it's staged. Why else would he have two bags of towels? Exactly, exactly. Just hoping. Like, yeah. Come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> you get there. Um, yeah, but, so, do you think Rafa can beat Nick no. or Hunter? Do I think that? Yeah. I don't. What do you guys I think? I don't think so. No. Great shape. I think Rafa is absolutely incredible. He is. Beautiful physique, very proportionate, everything's very even. I just don't think he'll have the thickness he needs yet. Yeah. When he's next to those other guys, size will yeah. make a difference. Unfortunately, I think, you know, it depends on what you're looking for, criteria and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. But it's, it's, a, it's a big man's game. Yeah. Are you guys regular watchers of the podcast? Every week. Every episode in All a right. row. Yeah. All right. Before we wrap. Awesome. Favorite episode? Oh. Favorite joke oh. or theme? from the podcast either one of you Paul's gay story <laughs> that one was really good <laughs> that was one of my favorites uh, is, it, brilliant it's brilliant there's, there's too many I there's can't too pick many. one you can't pick one even just in the best of there's like 20 just I in know, the best of you I can't know. pick we've one had some good, we've had some good laughs on the show we've seen, I've seen from the very first episode you did with Luke yeah. really from day one even before you like when you started launching your brand Pima, yeah, yeah yeah that's how we've long we've been following it that's crazy man in the beginning i used to listen to them in the gym yeah. but then because they were so funny you have, you have to watch them you I, can't. I don't know people tell me that they're like yeah let's do it while i work out i'm like i don't know it's definitely my it's definitely my cardio i think it's definitely cardio yeah yeah, absolutely. yeah, cardio, yeah, yeah that makes sense mm. but, all right before we wrap last question very quickly top five top. The, tonight rami yeah Hardy. Yeah. Brandon. Yeah. Samson. Ian. Ian. Brandon. Hardy. Rami. Nick. Ian. Rami in third. Yeah. Damn. And Ian in fifth. They got they love their boy Ian. This pick suck. <laughs> so chose Brandon. <laughs> what are yours now? You, you're the one that got yeah. that. What are your What are your latest ones now? Because I haven't seen the last pod. Because Brandon, Rami, Hardy, <laughs> almost. Brandon, Rami, Hardy, uh, Bonac, oh. and then probably Nick. Jay, what did I say? I think I said just pick something. You didn't pick your final picks. No, I, oh, I didn't like my final picks. I think I'm gonna go with quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm gonna go with Rami, Brandon. Nick, Hardy, Hunter. No so, shit. So no one's got okay. Andrew. No one's got Andrew in there still. <laughs> no. Do, right, I, do, I do want to say Justin's fucking hilarious. I knew oh, it. I know. I knew these guys. Love his accents. His is accents. He, is are he your brilliant. favorite? Hey. Eh? Is he your favorite? He's funniest. But is he your favorite? No. He will be next that. year, I think. All right. I he won't ask that fucking question. You just say no. <laughs> yeah, say no. He's not my favorite. That's okay. No, no. Ian's my favorite. There you go. Ian's my boy. Ian's a lot of people's favorite. It's all good. Okay, boys, we're going to wrap there. No, Thank great. you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Amazing. Thank yeah, you. Nice Cheers. meeting you guys. Bye. What's up, everybody? What's going on? What up? I'm here with uh, Justin. Yes, sir. And Alex Meadows. Hello. You are? Daryl. Daryl. And Cameron. How are you guys? Good. How are you? When did you guys get into Vegas? Uh, last month. Yeah? Yep. Who are you rooting for? Uh, for... Like, the bodybuilding. Open bodybuilding. Who are you rooting for? Uh, probably Big Rami. He's probably... Uh, Try and talk closer to the mic. Uh, probably Big Rami. He, I think he has it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. What do you think? Who's your favorite bodybuilder right now? Um, that, that's a hard question. <laughs> uh, like, that's currently... Yeah, currently competing. Um... Probably Terrence. Terrence? Yeah. That's right. Your dad helped him. Okay. Yeah. 
what uh, what's going on with you? What are you doing? Like, how's everything been lately? Uh, good. Yeah. I'm not doing much right now, though. So. You're still doing yo-yo. Yeah. You got so it with you. Basically, though, he does something for about two days. Yeah. Nails it, gets it down, then gets bored and does something else. Why are you so good at everything? Uh, I spent a lot of time doing stuff. Are you gonna show us some yo-yo tricks? Wait, wait, wait. I'm before, actually very good before, at yo-yo. Before yo-yo the, too. Before, no, 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 not like him. No, I'm before <laughs> before the yo-yo. Do you have your Rubik's cube too, or no? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want to see. Yeah. All right. So Alex is a professional at everything he does. He has the Rubik's cube. Matt, have you seen this? Have you ever seen anybody mess with a Rubik's cube like and make it like it's his bitch? <laughs> okay, Alex, show this guy what you can do here. Let me mess it up for you. All right, so we're gonna mess it up. Alex Meadows, the brain power of a superhero. All right, what do you think, Justin? Is that Matt's? Mess- no, you, you gotta pass it up. <laughs> Here, Pass on to me and no. <laughs> mess it up, mess it up. I don't have the dexterity to do this. Oh, wait, wait you don't. Oh, forget, I won't say anything. <laughs> one, one rotation here. Okay, here give it back to him. All right, so cut the camera to Alex. Close up if we can. All right, check this out. Where do you need some music? And tell me when you're going to start. Uh, Go. And now. <laughs> He's going to decipher. The Rubik's Cube. We need one more round. <laughs> the corner twisted. Ah, uh, you're cheating. You're trying to take a sticker off. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I just did. Look at this. You know, I would, if I did that, it would take me like five days to do that. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Days. Kidding. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this. <laughs> Anybody watching this? Genius at work? That's All right. Insane. Let's see the uh, yo yo. What do you got with the yo yo? Anything cool? You need uh, some room to step up? Yeah. I, yeah, I got to sit up. Can you do any table tricks like in front of us? What, do you, uh, can you walk the dog? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. All right, let's see it. I don't care if anybody can see it on camera. Let's just see what we can do. No, we want to see it on camera. Can you get that with this camera? Yeah, yeah try and do it in front of this camera. That was really impressive. <laughs> Look at this. Here we go. Oh. Can you do that, Justin? Yeah. Well, yeah. Not first try, but... Can you do that for real? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is so nuts. Wow. You're crazy, Alex. Thank you. Very cool. So what are you doing? Are you gonna start training or what? Are you into body? Are you into bodybuilding at all? Uh, I I would do it. Would I, you? Yeah. Do you have a Do you have like a passion for it, or you just kind of want to do it, maybe? I just kind of want to do it. Yeah, just for the fun of it. Yeah. What other projects you got going on? I know you're learning how to play guitar. Uh, yeah, I, I do that. I play classical guitar now. What's Gosh. the difference between cla- you mean classic rock or what do you mean? No, no, I play like like finger style, like uh, Spanish music, I guess you could say. Really? Hmm. Yeah. It's like it's. Here, yeah, bring that mic in. Just bring it to you. Okay. It's it's more. It, it's more like sad music normally. Okay. But I don't. I, you can play it as it's not sad. So you, it's, so it's sad it's, music, but you make it happy. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. Normally, I think that's that's how I would describe it. So guitar, yo-yo, Rubik's cube. What else you got going? Anything else? Fish. Yeah, I, I do. I fish. Uh, I hunt. Uh, you hunt? Yeah. It, when did you start hunting? Uh, I started hunting like last year, probably. Yeah, yeah, right, right about last year. You got a passion for that? Uh, it's. I mean, it's fun. Have you hunted anything big yet? Uh, nah, not really. I've gone. I, I haven't gotten a deer yet. But I've gone like small game. Squirrels. Like, yeah, squirrels. You take them hunting. You take them hunting. Who have you gone hunting with so far? Uh, I go with my mom's uh, best friend's husband. That's who I normally go with. Okay. Go or, by yourself a little bit too. She just doesn't know about it. You want to yeah. go by? You want to go by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Hunting's a lot of patience, though. You got the kind of patience yeah. to sit there and wait. 
Yeah, okay. it's real quick. Yeah. So he got into golfing a little bit in his backyard, and I think you should tell him just a fun. Come story. on, don't tell me he's like I'm mastering that too. Oh no, I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> but if Aunt Mary hears that she can't, she can't get you in trouble. I right, so I was golfing. I was trying to learn how to golf. It was dark out. And I'm not, I'm, I'm awful at it, like yeah. absolutely awful. <laughs> and I hit it and it hooked and flew and hit somebody's window. Oh no. They don't did know. It break, did it break? Mm-hmm. Oh no. <laughs> That's how we know. They don't know. It was like, it was like 11 at night too. So, and, and we just ran. What did you do? Just run inside? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, he says they, they don't know what they happened. Don't know. They got a golf ball in yeah. their bathroom. They know it's <laughs> they, know, they know now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah they, they know what happened, but they don't know it was me. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. So what are you guys doing? You going to watch the rest of the show and then yeah. kind of walk around the expo? Yeah. So I think we're going to go. We're not going to go to finals tonight. We'll go to finals tomorrow. Yeah. And then. I don't know, we've just kind of been hanging out, walking the strip. And this are, you the, are you the chaperone for the weekend? Kind of. Yeah, basically. Okay. So we came together. That's awesome, man. Good for you. Yeah. But, so his, so I call John and Mary and Mary and Uncle John. Can you move that closer? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I call John and Mary, Uncle John and Mary. They've just been there kind of since day one, and so I've been here since day one. So I'm more, it's more like a brother brotherhood what are they thing, what are they to you just very close friends or do they actually really so yeah it was my dad's like very good friend so my dad and my grandfather trained at west side barbell okay. he got uh, my uncle john over at west side there for a while and then john you know went off did the yeah. bodybuilding stuff yeah. so that's how that started i think when he was even going to capital or something like yeah. that yeah and then um kind of just went from there and then so since i was born i was just around and um so then yeah got to come real close to this guy how old are you i'm 23 so Mary trusted you with taking care of him for the week. She did, yeah. <laughs> she did. I don't know why, but she did. And, uh, yeah, then John coached me for, like, one of my first shows as well. Yeah. So it was, like, really cool. And then so now we get to come here together and just hang out. But Do you guys mind if we talk about John for a minute? Yeah, absolutely. How are you guys? How is everybody doing? Do you guys have – have you done any kind of tributes? Or are you – how do you rem- remember him on a daily basis? Like, how is that all Yeah. Going? Um, I mean – for me personally, it, it's definitely tough. Like the whole, so I did a show in June. I just did one in June, and it was a tribute to him. And Aunt Mary got to come. He got to come. We did a big like tribute thing to him, and then they made like a cool little video out of it. Yeah. I didn't want that to be like closure necessarily, but it was a little bit, and it was really cool. I think for all of us to kind of be there, and I was really happy that you guys were all there as well. But that was really cool. And then um, I don't know, like bodybuilding. Oh, so. Louis Simmons at Westside Barbell and I were very close as well. So after John passed and Louis passed, my fire was kind of burnt out with just like competing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So then I kind of just wanted to um, like move forward and just be a good person and just train and just feel good. And uh, but I don't know, how are you? How are you doing, Alex? Uh, I'm good. Uh, to answer your question, there's not really anything specifically. Yeah. That I do. Yeah. Uh. I think about him on a daily basis, yeah. and part of the reason I do is because he had such an influence on me just about being a good person, so when I'm doing, when I feel like I'm doing something stupid or I'm not being a nice person, yeah. that's the person I think of, yeah. and I talk, about, I talk about him on the podcast yeah, we, yeah, as much as possible because people need to know, yeah. right, and it's also kind of my way of uh, remembering myself, so yeah. that's kind of my, my thing, so I don't know. I, I just never knew... I always wanted to kind of ask you guys this kind of thing, people that are this, you know, this son and people that are close to how how you guys deal with it. Yeah. So that's kind of what. So how for you, uh, like how did he impact you, I guess, with, before you met him to like now, I Dude, guess. my whole life. Like it's, people think it's coaching. It has nothing to do with coaching. It's like I just saw him as a good person and I was like, I'm not a good person yeah. compared to John. Right. So when I think of things I'm doing or the way I'm behaving or the way I'm talking to someone or I think of John yeah that's the biggest way I can put it it's like he taught me without trying to teach me yeah just kind of being around somebody and watching him interact with someone yeah you start to learn and see things yeah so I think I always tell people that's the number one way you know he's coaching he's a genius of course yeah but that pales in comparison to what I learned from him just as being a man yeah so that's kind of I try and try and pay tribute that way right uh, but anyway, I just wanted to ask you guys about it, see yeah. how you're doing, see how everybody's all holding up. And yeah. How's Jonathan? Good? 
Uh, yeah, he, he's doing pretty good, yeah. He doesn't come, he doesn't do the bodybuilding thing? Nah, he, he doesn't normally go to events. He'll go to, he'll go to, like, a show. He'll go to some yeah. shows. He, ne- he never comes to expos. So. What is he interested in right now? Uh, like... Gaming? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Pretty yeah. much, yeah. That's Football, cool. yeah. Yeah. All right, well, listen, it's good, good to see you guys. Thank you for coming by the booth. Yep. And, uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Okay, boys. And we are back with the Real Bodybuilding Podcast, and we are with Ephraim and... Isabella. Isabella has a uh, problem with her voice, so she's going to be whispering. She was cheering too loud yeah, and pre-judging. It's, it's from cheering. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I laugh a little too hard, gone. Oh, no. Isabella and Ephraim, are you guys together? Yeah. How long have you been together? About two years? Yeah, this coming February will be two years, but we've known each other for a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. I don't mind if you whisper, but can you talk like right into the mic? I won't get... Close up and personal. <laughs> you can pull it towards you if you want. Um, so you're together. Do you, you compete? Amateur classic, yeah. And how many shows have you done? Barely one. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm only 20. I'm still kind of getting my start. So oh, what, okay. what what qualifies as barely one? One local shitty show that no one's ever heard of. That's a show. That's yeah. still a That's show. Still competing. <laughs> so I, yeah. Yeah. What about what about you? Have you competed before? No, I'm his. I am a new hire for his social media. <laughs> So I'm his supporter. I take his videos for him. So you're I try not. To. So you're not together. Like no, we are together. No. She's making a joke. Oh, but you're also oh, okay. his. You're yes. also his employee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought. I, I thought I missed something there. No, we're right. together. But I'm just. What's it like working for your boyfriend? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Does, it, you, Does it pay well? Do you like boy? Do you no. like bossing her around? No. 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 She doesn't take orders that well. No. <laughs> this is a bad dynamic. This is a bad dynamic already. She's terrible at her job. Yeah. <laughs> Is she good at her job? Yes, she yeah. is. Okay. She's good. So you're the management side of things? Absolutely. Yeah. Behind every great man is an even greater woman. I'm just trying to lift the weights, man. I got I got my own work to do. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for work? I'm a coach. You're a coach? Yeah. What do you do for work? Um, well, I'm right now. We're both. We both go to FSU. Okay. So I'm a student and trying to help him out. Yeah. What do you take at FSU? Um, art history and studio art. Art history studio, so awesome. okay. What do you do with that when you leave? Um, hoping to be in archival work in libraries. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that really boring? Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. I'm like I'm no, not joking. Okay. I get to hang out with old books all day. So That's a good it's question. Sick. The exciting stuff will be for him when I get to go Are to shows you, with like, him and you stuff. You love books. You just want to yeah. be around books all day long. Yep. That's interesting. I never even thought of stuff like that. Mm-mm. I guess she's not like that. I don't really read. She loves walking around bookstores. Do you read? No. I like walking around bookstores. Do you? And when I see books that like look cool, I want to buy them, but I know yeah. I know I'm not going to read them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I've done that before. Yeah. I bought like six books. I have so many. Like the so Phil, many. Like Phil Jackson's book. You have a book, book next to my bed that I've read like four pages of. Yeah. yeah I've been, been, the same there thing. For, been there for six years. <laughs> Do you read it all? No. I try, man. But I'm the same boat. Same boat. Six leave pages. It, leave the reading to her, right? Eh? But they look really cool, it's though. It's the dynamic. Like, cool-looking books. They look... <laughs> Dude, Jasmine, <laughs> Jasmine will blaze through books, man. She reads a book, like, every couple of weeks, blazes through them. You know, some people can read, like, front to back, and they can zip through a page because they can go, like, back and forth. You never heard that? No. There's a technique to reading where you go front and to back, front and back, and front and back. Then so, you're so, reading it backwards. Yes. But you're almost, like, skimming backwards, but you're collecting the data. And then you just the learn data. to discern it's, what the words are. <laughs> I You're personally cannot. But she knows what I'm talking about. I do, I do. Yeah, hmm. it's a it's a way to read faster. Right. Because you're scanning the page as you go. Makes sense. But I guess I'm sure. just not smart enough to do it. No, I'm, I'm not smart. I can't even read the, like, the normal way. <laughs> anyway, so what did you, is this guy's your first time at an Olympia? No, this is my third time for first. I went I, to the two in Orlando because we're from Florida. Okay, what do you think about the Olympia? That is your first time here. I love it. This is technically my second show. He took me to the Atlanta Pro. Okay. And your podcast really kind of got me into bodybuilding. Really? So now I, I feel like I know more, and I feel like I can actually be here. Do you guys watch it together? Room. She start. I mean, I've been watching since Luke, but yeah. she's she's definitely started. I play in the car and long car rides and stuff, yeah. and now she's she's a fan herself. Yeah. Do you think we're gross? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I would have to yeah, say that. Just, she for sure. Thinks, she definitely does. She for sure thinks you're gross. She yeah, rolls oh with yeah, the punches, she dude. Does. She's the one laughing the hardest at the car. Really? That's why oh, I lost yeah. my voice. I feel. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like we say things that people want to say, but they don't say. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It brings cool. up good conversations for us. That's cool. 
Do you guys have debates after you watch our debates? Because um, sometimes I've heard couples like mess. I've had couples message me and say, "We were debating the same thing you guys were," and then they'll argue. So I just wonder, you guys don't ever have that? No, I think we we think we get along for the most part. Yeah, we have disagreements about uh, pro shows and stuff, like placings and things. She that's, likes that's different physiques than I do. But what, what kind of physiques do you like? Oh Lord! Like more shapely. Small. I feel like this is a cop out. Why? <laughs> she knows it when she sees it. I think. Oh, okay. That's fair. I'm still, I'm still, still learning. Getting into the field. Hey, that's okay. Because before him, didn't even know about bodybuilding. Listen, building. nobody. It's better to pretend. It's better to say you don't know than to pretend you do know. I would rather just be yeah. like, don't ask me. That's yeah. yeah. That's the better way to be, anyways. <laughs> yeah. So what's? Do you, you do your own coaching? Yeah. What's well, it? yeah, for the most part, yeah. So you're only 20. When's the next show? What's the plan? What's the master plan? Well, I for my my weight cap is like roughly under 200 so i'm trying to get i want my off season to wait to at least be 20 ish pounds above that and then i feel like once i hit that i'll jump into a show okay okay so what's the grand plan though you want to make a body make a career in bodybuilding or classic? I, mean, I would love to yeah absolutely yeah, yeah i would love to put all my eggs into that basket but you know it's kind of like trying to do school what do you take at coach. fsu uh sociology okay do you want to do something with that or just trying to get a degree well, I first tried to get my degree in like exercise phys, yeah. which is like, you know, to coach and stuff like that. Yep. Um, but I still got math. So yeah. I switched to sociology, which has okay. nothing to do with anything. You got you to do what you're good at. It's all so I'm getting a degree and nothing, nothing to do with coaching and also trying to compete. So um, is there anything you guys want to ask us? Um, well, are you like that mean lean 250 that you promised? Definitely not. I've had two very expensive dinners since I got here that were what? Yeah, you weren't. Here. Sorry, Justin. You, <laughs> you weren't didn't here. tell me. You weren't here. I'm sorry. I ate. I ate without you. I had. We'll have to take you out to your next one. Dinner. I was like 258 when I left Canada. It's not bad. I can't. I just can't lose weight. Mm. I try so hard. <laughs> no, you don't. I, <laughs> this stuff doesn't help, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is. You try hard. Then we got fans bringing us bring chocolate. Fans burritos. bring It's not my fault. All right. Before we go, top five at the Olympia. Who do you think? Ooh. I'm going to say Rami. <sighs> Rami, Hottie, Brandon, Nick Hunter. Rami, Hottie, Brandon, Nick Hunter. Okay. Bonac? I know. I know. <laughs> Derek? It's a lot... <sighs> People have Derek and, in the top three, man. And Andrew? I don't know. I, Andrew, I need to see to believe. Andrew, I don't know, How come when everybody else says it, it's okay, but when I say it, he gets mad. You get, yeah, bringing you up in the press conference and shitting on you. I'm not confident. Oh, my God. That was crazy, dude. <laughs> the, the cheers in the audience, that was wild. When he, when he talked about it on the podcast? When, they, when he hated on you, everyone was yeah, cheering. Like, yeah, That's all right. No, we were not cheering. No, no, no. It was a lot of, oh. You know? Yeah, like how could you talk that way about Fuad? How could you speak about the great Fuad? How could Fuad you spill, speak ill about Fuad, who That's cares exactly so much was, yeah. about the people? After everything he's done for you. Is what <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> That's what, yeah. That's yeah. what he should. Right. Yeah. Anyway, can I say one quick thing before we yeah, go? Of course, man. I just want to say, um, my brother unfortunately passed like two months ago, um, and you guys have been a huge force in keeping me kind of on the straight and narrow of bodybuilding. You know, still going to train, still eating, because um, my motivation went way down. Um, but you even have a story of like, you know, when you had loved ones pass, that you were in the gym the next day. Yeah. And hearing about that, I felt like it was okay to keep training. And I think the fact that I kept training kept me sane, yeah. you know? So yeah. I just want to say you guys are huge, no, man, huge listen, influence. That, that's why I tell those stories. Yeah. Because I've had numerous people, and I'm sorry about your brother. Yeah, yeah sorry you. for your loss. Man. Um, but I've had numerous people tell me that the, the same kind of story. And that's why I talk about those things on podcasts, because I feel like, People need to know when you're going through something, there's other people that have gone through it or are going yeah. through it themselves. Justin's mom, unfortunately, yeah. passed yeah. a few months ago. Yeah, my I'm mom so just, just passed in October, and, and the next day I was in the gym. Yeah. And I just felt it was the most important thing to do was to stick to my routine. Yeah, absolutely. But I also think about what my mom would want. And That's I'm right. I'm sure your brother would want you in the gym and, and doing what you love, man. So I think it's important to kind of honor our, our loved ones in that way. Yeah. You Thank know? you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course, that, yeah. dude. Thank you for sharing that, dude. And yeah, I, of and, course, absolutely. And I'm happy we could be a part of like keeping you on a, on up and I up. I think you guys do way more than you think you do, man. I mean, you can see the your booth is the most popular one right now. You know, it's, I it's, keep hearing I keep hearing that, and uh, the more stories I hear like this, the more I start to believe it. But but I appreciate it very much. Just keep doing what you guys are doing, man. You, 
it's just be natural be you guys yeah, yeah. it's awesome thank Appreciate you so much it, man. man thank, thank you. you guys for coming in thank, thank you thank you yeah. bye-bye all right guys and we're back <laughs> <laughs>